Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am bringing to you a skincare routine. I have this on my head just so that my hair isn't like in the way and everything. This is usually how I do my nighttime skincare routine. This is what this is going to be nighttime um, just because I do have a different routine at night versus in the morning. So I thought it would be interesting to show you guys uh, my updated um, skincare routine, nighttime routine just because I Basically all the products that I'm using in this video are all new products that are different from my last, I can't remember what my last skincare routine was, but basically all the products I'm using now are um, different from that video. Um, the skincare products that I did use in that video, they, they were working at that time and they are good products, but since I, um, if you guys don't know, I work around estheticians so since I've been at this job I've gotten a lot of feedback from like estheticians as far as products and like how to take care of my skin and everything so a lot of these products are um, recommendations the estheticians that I work around um, refer to me or like recommended to me and I think so far my skincare routine is probably as solid as it's ever been now um, it's not a lot of products, which I am beginning to learn that less is more. And a lot of these products are um, affordable products you can find like at um, the drugstore. But there is also a few that are a little bit pricey, but honestly, like skincare is an investment. So I don't really have a problem with paying kind of a lot for these products just because I know they really work for me. And like when you find something that works for you, you're going to get it no matter the price. So I'm just going to do my um, nighttime skin skincare routine and I thought it would be interesting to actually like walk you guys through it personally instead of just like holding up items and showing you. So yeah, let's just get to it. Um, today I didn't wear any makeup. I honestly haven't worn makeup for about three weeks now since I've been in quarantine pretty much. I haven't had a reason to put on makeup because I don't, I haven't been going anywhere or doing anything. So I haven't worn makeup for about three weeks now and honestly like my skin feels so good. Um, as of right now I probably only have about one or two active um, pimples. This one right here at the top and then I feel like this one was a, a lot bigger than it is now but slowly going down. Um, as far as everything else my skin is pretty smooth like to the touch. I do have um, scarring as you can see like right here but like this is honestly has been the clearest my face has been in a very long time and it feels really good so I believe that it's all my products that are working along with me not um, putting so much makeup on all the time because I'm not going anywhere um, so yeah let's go ahead and get started with this routine okay so first of all um, the first step to washing my face is putting this thing on my head so that my hair doesn't get wet or like get all over um, my face and then we are going to use the CeraVe uh, renewing salicylic acid cleanser and this is a cleanser that I um, just ordered off Amazon about a week ago and so far it's been working it's really gentle um, it exfoliates while softening and smoothing skin and it has salicylic acid which you all know is very good for um, fighting acne breakouts so this has been um, pretty good so far um, like I said I've only been using it for about a week but um, so far it's been working really good my face hasn't usually like my face is really sensitive so anything that I that is going to irritate my face it usually irritates it right away so i've been using it for a week now and it's it's just super calming and it's super gentle the learning is that um cleansers cleansers don't i, I don't want to say cleansers don't matter because they do but i feel like really what matters in your skincare routine is like everything after cleansing um, which is like your toner, your serums, and your moisturizer. I feel like any, I feel like any cleanser will will like work for you as long as it's gentle like this. And um, I trust this brand, so yeah. This is the CeraVe Renewing Salicylic Acid Cleanser. So we're gonna go ahead and cleanse my face now, and then I will see you shortly with the next step. So this is how the cleanser looks. It's not like a milk cleanser or. Um, 
I, don't, I forgot what I was saying, but it, it does get soapy, which is what I like. I like cleansers that get a little soapy versus like the milk cleansers that kind of just like feel like lotion and water, which I know usually gentle cleansers are like that, but I like that this one gets a little like soapy so it actually feels like it's like doing something. And um, it usually gets a lot more soapier than this, but I'm usually like underneath the faucet the whole time. So I'm able to like lather it up a little more. But yeah, this is basically what I do. I just cleanse with this one. And then I'm also um, going to double cleanse. I think that's very important in skincare routine. Um, so I usually go in with a gentle cleanser like this. And then um, also with this product, all you need is a little, a little, dime size honestly like this product goes a long way like i said it, it would be getting a lot more soapier if you were like constantly under like the the water to get it all soaked up but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and um just massage this into my skin and then i'm gonna rinse and then i'm gonna go in with my second cleanser and then um for the second cleanser for the second cleanser i use the skin SkinCeuticals clarifying exfoliating cleanser and this is what it looks like um, it's a very gentle exfoliant. It doesn't have um, microbeads, which I like because it's kind of like a, a soft touch. I know what a, what a lot of exfoliating cleansers, um, they have like the microbeads that are really like big. I kind of don't like all that. So I like that this is microbead free, but it still has like that grainy feel. So like even though it's really soft to the touch, you can still feel it exfoliating your skin when you are cleansing. So this refines texture, brightens skin, and clears acne. acne acne clears acne blemishes and this also has two percent salicylic acid in it so um, i'm going to go ahead and rinse the cerave um face wash off and then i'm going to go ahead and double cleanse with the skin suitables okay so now that i washed that off i'm just going to go ahead and i literally use just like a little bit like that and i'm just I'm sorry, I hella had the water on at that time, but I'm gonna go ahead and just massage that into my skin and just exfoliate. As far as exfoliating, I don't exfoliate with actual like, um, I don't exfoliate with like gloves or like sponges like I used to. Um, I used to exfoliate with like the, the brush, the Vanity Planet brush and like, gloves or like um exfoliating towels and everything but i've learned that that's really damaging to the skin and you know with the vanity planet brush that i also did a review on that so if you wanted to go back and look at the review um like i said in the review it was kind of too harsh it was leaving like a little bit of rug burns on my face like it was like kind of like rug burns so it was just too much for my face like my face was just not feeling it so i stopped using that and then i also just stopped using like gloves and um exfoliating towels overall just because it's super harsh and i feel like i was just like ruining the top layer of my skin by exfoliating so much and it felt good but I know it was damaging my skin so I, I stopped doing that for like a couple of months now since I got this new skincare routine and like literally just using this SkinCeuticals clarifying exfoliating cleanser like it feels so much better to just do a natural um exfoliating through a cleanser versus like through an actual like product so yeah um I just massage that into my skin and then I am going to um wash this off and after this i'm gonna go in with um toner so yeah let me wash this off real quick and then i'm just going to pat dry my face and also like with the um, double cleansing it's also good for like when you are wearing makeup um before you cleanse you're supposed to like um remove your makeup with um micellar water or um makeup wipes but sometimes that doesn't um do the job and even when you cleanse just once it doesn't like get everything done so it's good to just double cleanse just to make sure all your makeup is off and just to make sure like any leftover um dirt is like off your face and i do it even when i don't wear makeup just because <laughs> it's kind of like ocd to me like i have to double cleanse like with or without makeup so uh, there we are we just 
dried our face and then now I'm gonna go in with my toner and sometimes occasionally like probably like once a month I go in with this after I wash my face I kind of leave like a little bit of water on my face or I'll use like um, an oil like a coconut oil or something and I'll go ahead and like fix up my eyebrows a little bit or I'll shave like the little peach fuzz that I have on my face just because me personally I like to shave my face just because it it gives my face like a brighter look and, and it, it also exfoliates like takes the dead skin off and everything I only do it about once a month just because it, when you shave your face it literally takes forever to, to grow back so on the nights that I am going to shave my face I usually do it right after I cleanse so I just go ahead and I use this and I just hit it up but I'm not going to do it just because I just did it like a couple of days ago so I'll do that but um, since I'm not doing that tonight we're just gonna go ahead and go to toner and with toner this is probably like the most essential product that I have in my whole skincare routine I kid you not like this shit is literally life-changing this is um, lotion p50 um, I can't even pronounce the name I think I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not gonna butcher this shit, but I'm I'm gonna leave a link in the bio and I'm also gonna like put it on the screen. But this is what it looks like. One of the estheticians that I work with, she actually got me like the travel size bottle for Christmas and she just wanted me to try it out because she thought it would be good for my skin. So I did and honestly like literally like this shit works like the first it worked like the first week I tried it like my skin got so clear and like so soft and I really feel like overall my skin is like in the condition that it is now which is like good because of this right here it's a little pricey it's about seventy dollars um but honestly it's worth like I honestly wouldn't care if it was two hundred dollars I would still buy it because this is this is literally like number one in my skincare routine like I could let everything go and just keep this if I had to like I don't know I just I never heard of the brand and I feel like this brand is so slap on I did try to look like at other people's reviews about this on YouTube and so but like it's kind of not a lot and not a not, I haven't seen like a lot of younger people using this honestly but this is literally a gem like I'm so thankful that the esthetician um, that I work with put me onto this because this is life changing. Like I don't ever see myself not using this ever again. I can literally go on and on about this product but I'm not and my face is trying so I need to hurry up and um, tone. Usually after your cleanser you want to hurry up and like tone before your face gets hella dry and tight. And then um, also with these cotton rounds, um, I used to just buy like the basic cotton rounds at like Target. I always noticed that like with those pads, they would like always like break off or like the cotton would be like stuck on my face and stuff. And I just didn't like them. Like they were poorly made, like cheap, obviously. So um, also on the same website that I get the um, P50 lotion from, I get these. And these run for about six or seven dollars. You can get the three pack um, for about like 20 something, which is what I just ordered. Um, these are really good. They're like really thick quality. They just don't shed like when you rub your toner on or whatever. And it also has like an exfoliating side and then a soft side. So yeah, I think these are really good. This is a hundred. Like I said, you can get a three pack or you can buy it individually for only $6 for a hundred pads. So this is really good. I definitely recommend this as well. And so this is what it looks like. And then I'm just going to put like a couple of, just put a couple of dots on the cotton round. And then I am going to just press this into my face and um, when you first use this, it is going to kind of sting just because it has like um, apple cider vinegar and everything in it, which is good for your face. But after a while, your face kind of gets used to it. Yeah, this is just like a, a gentle um, exfoliant as well. And I don't know, like I, I just feel like this has worked so good for me when it comes came to like my skin and the texture of my skin I always battle like really textured skin especially like around my cheek area and ever since I've been using this like my texture has reduced so much like I don't know this is just literally a, a life saver and then you can like go down to your neck and your chest which honestly I'm gonna be with, with y'all I don't <laughs> I don't do this all the time like go down to like my chest and everything but it's recommended so I'm gonna show you guys 
how to use it. Okay, so after I am done toning my face, I will go in with a mask, and it's usually the um, Drunk Elephant TLC mask. This is what it looks like. It also comes in like a bigger bottle, but I just wanted to get the travel size just because I wasn't sure if like I was gonna like this or not. But this actually has helped a lot as well. You only use this once a week for 20 minutes and um, it's 25% AHA and 2% BHA, which is also like a form of exfoliant. So you get that in this mask as well. Um, I don't use this like hella often. I only use this when I feel like my skin is like going crazy. And like I said, you only use it once a week because it is kind of strong. Um, but yeah, I think this is definitely a, um, one of my go-to masks. If I'm not gonna use this mask, I also like to use the Freeman Gel um, Plus Scrub Mask. And you literally only put this on for about five minutes and then you wash it off. And this is like, it's for like detoxing pores and exfoliating. Um, your skin as well it's more of like a gel like i said you only put it on for five minutes and i don't know it's just something about this mask that i really like this is in a very af affordable mask you need it like ulta or cvs I, I like this one i use this sometimes i don't use it all the time but when i feel like my skin just needs that like extra exfoliating i go ahead and i use this but like i said i don't use these two masks all the time ever since my skin's been getting a lot clearer i kind of i kind of haven't been using masks which i don't know is like a good thing or a bad thing but i've just been feeling like i don't want to overwhelm my skin with like too much stuff if i if it's not necessary you know like i've i just feel like with these like especially this one i literally only use it when i'm having an issue so yeah for mask i'll do that after toner like before my serums and everything but since tonight i don't need to use these i'm gonna go ahead and jump into my serums so every night i do um after my toner i do um use the skin SkinCeuticals blemish plus age defense a salicylic acid um, acne treatment and i only use this when i do have acne active acne um which i do have right here and like i said this one and i actually feel like i have one in my eyebrow too so i'll just go ahead and i'm actually running out of this because i've had this for a long time now i'll just go ahead and dot it right where i'm having the issue and then just tap it and then i'll go ahead and put some there and then here when i first started using this i did have like acne all on my cheeks like right here and then i had a little bit on my chin so what i would do is just like do a couple of drops on this cheek and then rub it in and then like on that side forehead and chin as well but since i haven't really been having issues like that i usually just like dot it wherever i need it and also i'm running out so i'm trying to like just literally use it when necessary or where necessary but i do use it every night yeah i i use this this is um skin SkinCeuticals, the same brand as the exfoliating cleanser i i showed you and i'll also link this down below this is kind of on the pricier side but like i said if you're really trying to like invest in your skin sometimes you gotta you gotta you know you gotta put some coin down for your situation so after i go ahead and put that on i move to serums which is serums that i've been using lately have been the sweet chef um ginger plus vitamin c serum and the beet vitamin a serum and this is what they look like i actually bought these at urban outfitters but sweet chef this is a really good brand i used to always see them like on the internet but i never thought to get anything but since this is a vitamin a and vitamin c which i feel like my skin needs especially with the vitamin c for like um brightening dark spots and evening my um skin tone this is very good this is the ginger one and this is what it looks like and like i said this is good for like brightening and um textured skin and then the beet which is vitamin a and this is for refining pores and smoothing rough skin as well so these two together i like to use just because i am battling rough um textured skin along with like dark acne marks so i usually um, i haven't been using this I just started using these again recently just because I have had them for a while, but I kind of stopped using them just because at the time I was using a lot of other stuff that was like, it was kind of making my face like go crazy. So I, I kind of put these down for a minute, but I decided to pick them back up since I feel like they, they were good. It was just like at the time I was kind of doing too much. 
So I just go ahead and put like one drop of the ginger and then one drop of the beet one. And then I just go ahead and pat this into my skin. And I don't do a lot just because like this is a, um, a serum and you don't want to like go too heavy on the serum. You just want to put enough. And I feel like my, my skin is like super sensitive to like oil, oil texture. So I feel like if I put too much, um, I might clog my pores, which is not what I'm trying to do. So I just put a decent amount, literally one drop of each. And then I just press it into my skin until I feel like it is absorbed. And this is a little sticky. It has a little sticky texture, but that's okay. And I usually um, just do that at night. I have been doing it like in my morning routine recently too, but only because I haven't been wearing makeup. So I could like afford to like um, put on a serum. Usually when I'm gonna wear makeup, I don't put on a serum. I just wash my face and then go to moisturizer just because I don't wanna have all that underneath my makeup and it makes my makeup slide around and, and it makes my face oily. So I don't like to do that when I have on makeup, but when I don't, I don't mind looking kind of oily because then it just looks like a little natural glow, you know? So yeah, um, once I go ahead and press that in, I'm just gonna hop into moisturizer and guys, I fucked up. So I do use Curology. I don't know if you guys know what Curology is, but it's basically like a subscription um, where you get paired up with a dermatologist and you send pictures of your skin and they um, create a, they create like a treatment for your skin um, based on like your pictures and everything. And you, and you have like these three like important ingredients in the back of the bottle that's prescribed just for you and it has your name on it and everything. I had to amass, I don't have any, right? I don't have my bottle right now just because I did run out of my last month's um, supply because I, I get them in like every month. And usually by the time I run out of my last one, they ship me my second one so that I'm not like asked out i literally have like a new one right before i'm about to run out but with this whole like virus um with this whole like COVID 19 thing it's been like prolonging shipping so i ran out of curology a cup like about two days ago and i i don't have my um bottle with me unfortunately i will put it on the screen if you guys don't know what curology is and i'll also link that down below but um i don't have my new bottle i don't know what i had seen in my account that like it got charged for my for this month's bottle but i don't know where it is i don't have like a tracking or anything i'm not sure when it's gonna come but usually after those serums i put on my curology and i only put on my curology at night so in my normal step after that, I will be putting on the Curology, but since I don't have that, I, um, I'm i just going to skip to my moisturizer. So we're just going to pretend like I put on my Curology after the um, ginger and beet um, serum shots. And then for moisturizer, I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion, and this is what it looks like. This is super gentle. Like I said, all of CeraVe's products are super gentle, and it's literally for every skin type. I, I feel like I, I haven't heard of anyone really like breaking out from CeraVe. Um, it's literally such a gentle brand. It is dermatologist, um, developed by dermatologists, so it is dermatologist approved. And yeah, I usually just go ahead and like take about this much and I go ahead and moisturize it in my face. And like I said, usually I would have my Curology on too. So that's already like a moisturizer in itself because the Curology kind of looks like this. If you guys want to know more about Curology, I also have like older videos on my um, page about Curology like reviews and everything. But after my Curology, I go in with this moisturizer and this moisturizer is just like really, I wouldn't say it's like thick, but it's also not super thin. It just makes your face feel so good and moisturized after it's like the perfect amount. Um, usually like in the daytime, I don't like having on a lot of products on my face. Any products at that. Um, at night, I like to kind of like, um, pack on a lot of moisturizer just because I'm gonna be asleep. And for some reason, it doesn't matter how much moisturizer I put on at night, I'll always wake up with like dry spots for some reason. And it's only at night, like it never happens in the daytime, it's literally only at night. So I like to kind of just like put um, 
after the cure with the curology you can leave it at just the curology just because like i said it's kind of like a moisturizer in itself but i like to put this CeraVe moisturizer on on top of it just to get that extra moisture because like i said i always wake up with like dry spots even though i have oily skin also i forgot to let you guys know um i do have oily acne prone skin but ever since i've been doing this skincare routine not only have i noticed that i haven't been breaking out hella much but also i feel like my skin hasn't been as oily now in the past a lot of the products that i used to use was only towards like oily skin and i was always trying to like strip off as much oil as i could and use like super matte um makeup products and everything but now that i've been learning a lot more from like actual estheticians i've been learning that my skin is not like my skin is not actually oily it's just dehydrated so by me like using all these products for oily skin and like stripping and everything it's kind of like my my skin is kind of like producing extra oils just because i'm stripping it away from i'm sure you guys like heard heard of that before but usually if you have oily skin and you are like going overboard to try to make it matte it's gonna like produce more just because it needs that natural oil so ever since I've been using this, I've been having this new skincare routine, I've kind of been using products that aren't really based towards oily skin. I usually go for like normal skin and it's actually been working. Like since I'm not going against like my natural oils, my natural oils have kind of been like in a good place right now. I haven't noticed my face like super, super oily in a long time. And like I said, now like I'm waking up with like, like sometimes I wake up with dry spots, which is why I decided to like use the CeraVe moisturizing lotion at night as well and that's that's kind of been helping with the dry spots as long as i put on like the perfect amount it's good i like to go ahead and moisturize my lips just because i feel like everybody should put on chopstick at night just to moisturize just to moisturize your lips and that is pretty much my skincare routine i did it for you guys i you know did it step by step so you guys could like actually see um, what I do instead of like holding up the products and letting you know like this is what I use and everything um but yeah I I will link all these products down in the description so you guys could go check it out for yourself I do feel like I have a pretty solid skincare routine right now like I said my skin has been like the best it's been in a very long time so I'm pretty proud of that and I feel like you know, like even though this quarantine has us like in the house and we can't like do shit and we're bored and everything, I feel like it's definitely been doing good for my skin. Like if I wasn't in quarantine, I would still be like putting makeup on every day, going to work and stuff. But ever since I've been in quarantine, I haven't been um, putting on makeup and it's been doing my skin good. So, you know, I'm not really complaining about quarantine. We do have like a whole <laughs> other month. Of this shit so i'm gonna just get comfortable and try to rock my natural face as much as i can and get it even clearer and maybe like a couple of months i can actually do another skincare routine and like let you guys see or not a skincare routine but like a skin update and let you guys see exactly like where i'm at and what progress i've made since then but yeah that was pretty much it that was my nighttime routine if you guys do want to see like my morning routine which is a lot less products than this usually for in the morning i usually just cleanse and moisturize but if you guys want to see that anyways go ahead and leave me a comment um don't forget to like comment share subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video good night